actually have quite a few things to do today. So my family has a small business and we are shooting some new content today, but I knew the only way I could get ready and get everything done on time is to get up as soon as I feed baby girl um, in the morning. So Seth just got home from work and I just fed Collins and now I am going to have just like a minute of quiet. Um, I'm gonna have my coffee and I'm going to do a little bit of journaling and then I need to get ready, wake Collins up, probably feed her one more time and then my mother-in-law is gonna keep her while I'm shooting. So a few things to do today and we are getting right to it. get fully ready. Colin still has not woken up, which is amazing. Um, so I'm going to go get her up, get her ready, take her to my mother-in-law's, and then it's time for the shoot. My name's Ashley. Um, it's hard to be pretty sometimes because not everybody around you is, <laughs> but I'm trying my best. Okay, we just finished our shoot, and I think I'm gonna go grab some lunch really quick with my bestie. Oh, I have a visitor. Flavors don't, I think they're, a lot of times it's just uh, Oh, that is a good coffee. A lot of times it's just uh, 
Pretty like much. lip service, it doesn't mean anything. All the flavors taste the same. Skittles, they don't taste different. I mean, for Skittles, I would agree. Or like gummy bears or whatever. The only one that tastes different is the white one. The other ones, they all taste the same. You move that and scan me. Look, my hand is really stuck. All right, here. That coffee's delicious. It's like a little toffee in there. Sure, it's good. They taste the exact same. Really? Yeah. Let me taste that one. Well, I think this might be mine. I'm telling you, I think sometimes the flavors are not real. That girl from the airplane. Maybe that one's caramel. Let me hit it back to back real quick. This one, if there's, if one's caramel, it's this one. That one has a stronger flavor. This one's a little bit more muted. All okay. right, onward. So, we just had a little impromptu date night. Date day. Date, day date. Date afternoon. Um, Seth arranged for my mother-in-law to watch our baby, and he took me to dinner at... We just went to a pizza joint, and honestly, it was perfect. They had a pizza called the, what was that? Don't remember. Masterclass. Master. Pepperoni Masterclass. And it's just a regular pepperoni pizza, except it has extra pepperonis. But and it's it honestly, done by a master. yeah, it looked like it was cooked a little bit more, which is my idea of a perfect pizza. Like the cheese was really melty, but the bottom of the crust was still kind of crunchy. It had it was, a firm crust. Yeah, a firm crust. It was perfect. Um, anyway, and then we just went and got a little coffee because, you know, as new parents, if you're going to hang out after your kid goes to sleep, you got to hit a 6 p.m. coffee. Um, so yeah, we did that. We, we went to Ready. one of our and favorite places place. called Man Ready, which is Mercantile. Yeah, Man Ready is definitely one of our favorite stores. And then there was a little antique shop right next door, so we went there. And then we, on our way home, we're gonna go pick up these cookies because we always have to have a sweet treat. So one of my best friends has a cookie business. And every Tuesday, she does Cookie Tuesdays, and she releases two new cookie flavors. Look at this. Can you see? That is a pretzel chocolate chunk, which, sweet and salty, yes. And then the other one is Funfetti Circus, and it has those little circus animal cookies. I have never placed an order so fast, so we're gonna go pick that up. Go pick up our girl, go home, have a little treat, probably watch a show, and that's it. Hello you guys. I get so many spam calls. It is the next day. I actually got a lot of stuff done this morning. It was a slower morning just because Seth had a few things that he had to go do. He was off last night and he's off again tonight, which is amazing. I love when he's home. It's just, it's how it should be, you know? It's, it's, I have a lot more help and it's just, it's good for me. Um, he went to the gym this morning and then he ran a few errands. So I 
got some work done just from the house. I had a lot of computer work, emails and things like that that I was able to knock out while Collins took her nap. And this girl, I'm telling you, she loves to sleep. She sleeps a minimum of eight hours every night. She does not wake up in the middle of the night anymore to eat. She is gonna be nine weeks old tomorrow, so honestly, I couldn't ask for anything better. She is such a good baby. Um, I just came to the park to just get outside, get some movement in. I do need to lift today on my workout program. Um, I am doing legs today, so I'm gonna get a walk in. I kinda just wanted to get outside, get some fresh air, um, and then I'm gonna go back home. I'll probably have to feed Collins when I get home and then I'll get my lift in. But that's that. I just wiped down my car. If you know me, you know I am a little bit of a germ freak, okay? And I don't think there's anything wrong with that. I was like this, I've always been this way. Um, when I was little, I remember my dad used to always have wet ones in his truck and he would wipe his steering wheel down. That's me. I am that girl now. Um, but if you think about it, your phone, all the places your phone has been, all the places you've set your phone down, gross, you know? So every, ugh, I wouldn't say once a day, Every few days, I am wiping my phone down with some sort of disinfectant. I also wipe my steering wheel down in my car. And you know what? It makes me feel sparkly clean, and I love that. Um, anyways, I'm going to go get my walk in, and then I will pick up with you guys a little bit later today. Okay, I am kind of limited on the time I have to work out just because baby girl is hungry. I just went and fed her a little bit, but I'm gonna try to make this as quick as I can. And then I think Seth and I are going to run into town to do a few more errands and then we're gonna go grab dinner. So I am following the sweat app. I really, really love it. Um, I will include a link if you would like to get the sweat app, but yeah. I'm gonna get started. I am balancing my camera right on top of my milk freezer. I actually have a pretty good stash. I'm working on it. I don't pump. For not pumping, I feel like it's pretty good, but I am working to get a better stash.
Okay, just finished my workout. Seth is watching Frozen for the first time. He's been showing Collins different kid movies. He's wanted to watch them himself to make sure that when she's old enough to actually know what's going on, that they'll be okay for her. But how cute is this? Okay, we are leaving the house. We're gonna go eat some sushi, I think. And Seth is gonna go by the gym where he does jujitsu and actually get a membership. Um, but I'm wearing this really cool shirt that I got last night on our little date night at one of our favorite stores in Houston, Man Ready. And I got it in Seth's size, which anytime I get like a graphic tee, I always get a bigger size, but in this one, I think it would look really good on Seth too, so I got it in his size, but I really like it. Anyways, we're gonna go to the jujitsu. Ju jujitsu. To the. <laughs> jujitsu. To the jujitsu gym. And then I think we're gonna go to Academy. to Academy because he wants to look at some stuff for our garage gym and then we're gonna go eat some sushi. But baby girl's back there chilling. I made sure she was nice and full before we left so hopefully everything goes good. And everything's fixed. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome, Welcome to our time. <laughs> what is this? Uh oh, no. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, Kelly. Hey girl. Hey girlie. I am feeding Collins right now. Seth just got home from the gym. I still need to work out and he has some mandatory work thing that he has to go to. So I'm feeding her really quick so that she doesn't get fussy while I am working out. And we just got a package 
and Seth is opening it for me. I don't really know what it is, but I think it's a PR package. <laughs> he said he opened it upside down. Confetti? It cosmetics. Bring it over here. Some bye bye pores. Some bye bye pores blush. Oh my gosh, wow. this is so exciting. We love packages. <laughs> Anyways, I'm gonna finish feeding Collins and then I need to go get changed into my workout clothes. And then unfortunately, Seth goes back to work tonight. But this is his short week, so he only works two nights, tonight and tomorrow night. Um, so it's definitely not that bad compared to his long week when he's gone five out of the seven days, but it's never fun when I know that he has to leave. Also, I made myself an iced coffee so we have an espresso and i stand by it i think that the nespresso coffee maker is elite it's just so good but i've been making iced coffee wrong um i didn't know that you were supposed to use the espresso pods to do it so the other day my bestie chelsea was over here and she made me an iced coffee and seth and i both were like that is so good so I ordered the exact pod that she told me to and everything, and this is where it's at. I've never been able to make good iced coffee at home that I actually like. So I just did a double espresso pod, a little bit of raw cow's milk, a splash of creamer. It's perfect. Okay, this is everything that I got in my It Cosmetics. PR package. This, I am obsessed with this brush. I actually have this now and have used it for years. This is their Your Skin But Better CC foundation. I got some concealer, that's some powder, mascara, and blush, which actually I've never tried their blush before, so I'm really excited about that. But it's actually so just crazy that I am doing a campaign for It Cosmetics because for years, I have worn their makeup, and when I first started actually doing my makeup and loving doing makeup, that's the brand that I always had as my go-to. So I feel really thankful and so excited to make a video for them. Um, they're doing like a back to school type campaign, and so I'm probably gonna make that video tomorrow before we go out of town, but I'm just so excited that I got those products and I can't wait to try the things that I haven't tried yet, but yeah, I just feel really thankful. Okay, my bestie is about to come over. She's actually bringing us some lunch and I'm gonna get changed really quick so I can start working out. So by the time she gets here, I can just eat, kind of hang out with her. Seth has to go to a meeting at work. So we're kind of on a little bit of a time crunch. So I'm gonna get to it and then I will check back. Okay, today's workout we have back and shoulders, which is not too tough, but I was gonna show you. So this is the sweat app, and then if you go here, so you pick whatever program you want, and I did one that needs minimal equipment just because we have a garage gym, but we don't have like everything that you would have at a normal gym. So today it like schedules out your week for you. So today is back and shoulders. You click, it tells you what equipment you do need. So dumbbells, a bench, and just a recovery band, which I have all of those things. And then these are all of the workouts. It times it for you, counts your reps. It's honestly very user-friendly. I've had this app for years. This is the first time I've stuck with it for this long. This is week four that I have been doing this program, so it's just been perfect for me postpartum personally, but we are gonna get to it. Chelsea is on her way over, so I'm just gonna get done what I can. Seth has to leave in like 40 minutes, so 
we're gonna knock it out. Okay, just finished my workout. Seth had to run really quick to his meeting. I honestly am so surprised that I was able to finish the whole workout, but this girl is ready to hang out. Hey, she's ready to hang out. She has been doing so good. She's finally learning how to kind of keep herself busy, but I finished my workout in perfect timing. Seth literally just ran out the door and now we're hanging out. I feel really good about the routine that we found. It definitely takes intentionality and really good time management, which to be perfectly honest, was a struggle for me before having a baby, but I've really gotten the hang of it and honestly, it makes me feel so much better. I feel like I'm so much more productive during the day. I get a lot more done, so it's been good for me overall. But anyways, we are gonna eat some lunch when my bestie gets here and we will check back later. brought sweet green so we both ordered a new what is it a salad a new salad from sweet green it's the Italian chopped salad which one thing about us we love a good chopped salad situation so I'm excited to try it it has lettuce salami is that what it is Got a little spice. Yeah, we have salami, cucumber. <gasps> salami, cucumber, cheese, tomatoes, chickpeas, and it comes with a little vinaigrette. Your hair grows, and then I rip it off in the direction that your hair goes. Shows off. Tell them what you're doing. I'm taking all this hair out of her armpits with this sugar paste. Oh, it's actually my first time. I'm going to put both gloves on. So. Okay, she saw this on TikTok. <laughs> and she threw on her pits out just for me. I stopped shaving my armpits so she could wax them. I am so <laughs> Okay, I passed Collins off to Seth and I am going to make him some dinner really quick before he has to go to work. I bought this last week for him. It is the HEB fully cooked shredded chicken and it literally cooks in just a few minutes in the microwave. You just heat it up and then I put it with some of the Somos rice, which is our absolute favorite minute rice. And I tasted it 
and it was pretty good. So I'm gonna make that again just because it's super quick for him. And he only works two nights this week, so he doesn't need too much food. Um, but I'll show you how I do it. Okay, so this is the Somos rice. The Poblano brown rice is definitely one of our favorites. This goes in the microwave for 90 seconds. And then this is the fully cooked shredded chicken. It's already seasoned and everything. And this you just put in the microwave for, I believe, two and a half minutes. And then I just mix it all together, add a little bit of cheese. And then when he gets to work, he does his own hot sauce and whatever else he wants on top. Okay, so I am gonna add a little bit of this Trader Joe's onion salt and then Adam's Reserve Hatch Green Chili Ranch Powder. Um, I think it just mixes really well with the combination of this rice and the chicken. It's not anything super special, but Seth really likes the Hatch Green Chili Ranch, so just a little extra spice. This is what it ends up looking like when it's all mixed together. It doesn't look super appetizing, but it's actually really good. And Seth doesn't really eat anything other than just meat and carbs, so this is perfect for him. I don't know if it's because the chicken is already fully cooked before you heat it up, but I'm really weird about reheated meat and last time I made this I had some of it and I actually really liked it so it gets the job done it's really quick and easy and it makes quite a bit of food like that will feed Seth for the next two nights while he's at work so it's perfect Hello you guys, it is the next day. Today is a big day because pumpkin cream cold brew is back and I was so excited to go with Collins to get a pumpkin cream cold brew. When I tell you I underestimated that line at Starbucks, everybody, everybody wants it. I get it, okay? It's one of my faves. So I intended on going to get one but the line was just too crazy. So I went and picked up Chipotle for lunch and I'm probably just gonna make an iced coffee at home you know I have a pumpkin spice creamer here we can make it work until things die down a little bit but my sister-in-law is about to come over and I'm gonna walk her through a workout in our gym and then I need to get packed for the lake this weekend we are taking Collins on her first little mini vacay I'm so excited but that is gonna be in the next vlog I think I'm gonna wrap up this vlog here thank you so much for watching if you made it this far I appreciate you and I'm so excited for this new journey stay tuned for our lake trip vlog coming up next thanks for watching